Watching so much for so little in 2022 is certainly very interesting. I'm not American, so I don't have a, a kind of emotional connection with this, but it's certainly a very interesting concept. Before you watch this, as I, I do recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it, how much do you think it cost people in 1949 to pay for the health service a week? This short does explain this, and I'm pretty confident that there's no such price now. This was released, of course, 1949. It's a Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Chuck Jones, written by Jones and Fritz Freeling. It's narrated by Frank Graham, and we have Mel Blanc voicing our protagonist, Johnny Jones. And it starts off with Johnny Jones as a small baby. And it basically gives us some terrifying statistics about the percentage or, or the odds, I think it's one in however many babies, will not live until their first birthday. This is in 1949, of course. And it shows us how the public health agencies look after little baby Johnny Jones and what they do for him as, as he grows up with inoculations and things. And then we see him developing into a young man and starting a family and getting old and all of the times the many, many times in his life he relies on the public health agencies. And the purpose of the cartoon, or the short, of course, is to say, hey, it only costs you this much a week to pay for your public health agencies. Don't complain. Keep paying, because look how much you need them. And that's you know, absolutely true, of course. Healthcare in America, certainly today, is, of course, very questionable. And I'm not going to get into too many discussions about that here. But please do feel free to share your views on that in the comments if you wish. Um, in the UK we are very lucky that we do have the NHS, even though the NHS, certainly their mental health departments, are diabolical and not worth the taxes we put into them, but their physical health departments, the rest of it, um, seems to generally work quite well. Um, I thought it was an interesting concept of following this one character from birth until old age and the various many times that he needs the health services. To be honest, I can't imagine that many people ever having a problem with paying for health, but if it was a new thing at the time, maybe I could see that. I don't know. If anybody knows when these public health agencies kind of came into play, please feel free to let me know. I'm sure a quick Google would tell me that, but I'm not going to rem remember to look. But I really enjoyed it. So Much For So Little is entertaining, it's engaging. The title obviously refers to the fact that you get so much out of these public health services for so little money. And in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. But when it comes to health insurance, totally different ballgame. But I enjoyed it a lot. If, you're a ha if you haven't seen it, definitely worth checking out.